it's really amazing that we are now beginning to emerge from this virtual only to this hybrid uh, type of meeting. And it's very exciting. Andrew Cron and Jody Hurwitz have put together a program that has both a significant virtual component for those people who can't travel, but also an in-person component for people who can travel to then encourage real interaction because really that's where the best science and innovation uh, comes into play. It would be a shame that we don't learn anything from the COVID-19 pandemic. It's just been such a horrible thing for the entire world. From my perspective, the most important thing that has been learned is that we are all really connected, right, by disease. And with that, then connected by communication with this new virtual technology that we have. So I believe that we are going to see an increased emphasis on these sorts of communication. And what's going to be very exciting is as the world becomes that much more connected, I believe that good ideas will spread even faster. There are some amazing things that are going to go on in HRS 2021, both the virtual and the in-person component. For the in-person component, there's a new design. There's going to be a plenary session every single day so that uh, we can all be interested and excited about the new ideas and paradigm shifts. In addition, there is a significant focus on this new digitization of information and data. And what does digital technology do for us as arrhythmia uh, management types of healthcare providers, whether physicians or nurses or in other roles, how does digital technology change the way we deliver care? In addition to that, there will be the usual incredible science, more than a thousand abstracts uh, from people all around the world, and obviously the late-breaking clinical trials. There are new innovations, new technologies that are being looked at. The East AF investigators are going to talk about their patients and their experience in those patients with heart failure. In addition, the Cabana investigators are going to talk about the economic implications of different uh, strategies for the management of atrial fibrillation. Finally, there are several randomized controlled trials looking at, for example, the use of ablation in those patients with ventricular tachycardia as first-line therapy. What's exciting about scientific sessions this year is that if you can't travel, there's going to be an incredible virtual offering, five live streaming channels, along with the ability to then interact with people both on a one-to-one -one or a one-to-many type of uh, interaction uh, platform. And for those of us who can come in person, isn't it exciting that we can finally come together again and exchange ideas and best practices and really then take these back to our home institutions, our home states, our home countries to then deliver the best of care.